uh, diplomats coming to us as well. This is a defense attache from one of the embassies who was playing football here uh, and, uh, and had a twisting injury. He'd had the diagnosis of ACL. He's been toing and froing between, uh, between us and, and his parent country. And, and he's had various discussions with a number of people. Somehow uh, uh, the, the chemistry and the communication developed with, with us. Uh, and we discussed options with him with regards to his tear. Uh, now, I, uh, generally the standard treatment is that of ACL reconstruction, uh, taking graft from somewhere in the body or elsewhere uh, to make a special uh, 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 ligament for him. Uh, but if it, there are specific indications where there is enough ACL, we can actually repair it. Uh, this is a relatively new technique to a stage that there are about four centers in the US doing this right now. Uh, there are about two, uh, two years worth of experience and more is coming through. Uh, I'm on the bandwagon as well. Uh, just, uh, just a bit of an illustration as to what happens when uh, uh, there is an ACL injury. You can see that there is significant wobble in his knee. The knee starts, stops to flop back and it can't be held into a certain position. And also whilst rotation and movement, it clunks in and out, uh, which, which the normal knee shouldn't. And the reason for this, uh, the, the reason to stop this clunking is actually not the stable knee, but to prevent arthritis, which can happen in the future. So this gentleman requires a stable knee to prevent or delay whatever damage has been done to him. Um, uh, moving on, uh, so, so this, is, this is the inside uh, of his knee now, and we're looking at the ligament. So the, what had happened was the ligament had torn, and it was stuck in the wrong place, and it's been wobbling. So I've been using my probe to pull into its place and find out. So he does fulfill uh, the, uh, uh, the, the criterion to at least trial with an ACL repair. Uh, this is a technique where we, we use special kind of vices and instruments to pass it through. These tiny holes is where we go through uh, with, the, uh, with, the, uh, uh, with the ultra strong sutures and we loop it and make stitches on the outside prior to passing it back into the knee. Uh, I'll just go through these uh, uh, just so that you can see that we're looping this. This looping happens a number of times, uh, and, and, the, and uh, the, uh, the, the term used is that we whip stitch it uh, twice so that we're strengthening and augmenting the, uh, the, uh, the torn ACL, uh, and obviously tightening it through on the, inside, uh, on the outside to bring it up on the inside. This is then um, anchored into its uh, area of uh, uh, insertion, and once it's inserted, uh, uh, a belts and braces approach is that I inject PRP into uh, this as well. Uh, th th these are again bioabsorbable sutures, and you can see once it's stable, we check, we recheck the stability uh, and check if that clunking has gone, and he's got smooth ranges of movement. Uh, six weeks later, he's back with us, uh, despite me telling him to avoid all forms of football for nine months, he comes and tells me that he's played and scored well. Uh, I worry about him and I'll carry on worrying about him, uh, uh, but he seems to be not bothered with it, So, which is, which is a good sign, uh, at least for now. His quality of life is back. Um, 